Hey everybody, we're down here at JP Morgan, uh, San Francisco location, here at 560 Market. Sorry about that, I don't know what I'm putting my camera at. Uh, we're asking uh, for a Robin Hood tax, and we've got a pretty good crowd out here today. So, uh, show a little bit out here. Well, we're down here at J.P. Morgan and Company at 560 Mission Street in San Francisco. Uh, we're down here. We'd like to ask J.P. Morgan to pay a little of their shareholders and people that do business with them to pay their fair share in taxes. Uh, we're asking for a half a percent on every trade of $100, which is virtually nothing. And this money would go to funding the various programs that have been cut during this time of austerity. The people won't give up. I would imagine most of these people are from uh, California Nurses Association. We say fight back! We say fight back! Down here at 560 Mission Street, San Francisco. So if you down in the area, please do drop by. Thank you.
power. We got the power. What kind of power? Circulating power. We got the power. We got the power. What kind of power? Nurses power. Who got the power? We got the power. What kind of power? Nurses power. J.P. Morgan, do some good. Max the plant called Robin. Now we're down here at 560 Mission Street in the Financial District in San Francisco. We're here because we like the United States government to institute the so-called Robin Hood tax, which is a half percent on every dollar that is traded on the Wall Street. And that includes derivatives, stocks, bonds, money market, futures, all kinds of trading in on Wall Street and uh, most stock markets. Uh, this used to be a real tax. It went and paid a lot of people, it went and paid for a lot of things back in the 50s and 60s. And uh, it was repealed, I can't remember the day in the 70s, but just to give you a little background, but it was once taxed and given back to Wall Street. Teachers, healthcare, and the rest. Teachers, healthcare, and the rest. 
Clark live streaming. Uh, Clark Sullivan live streaming from 560 Mission Street, uh, San Francisco location of J.P. Morgan and Company. Uh, we have the California Nurses Association leading the protest for a Robin Hood tax, which would be a half half of one percent tax on all trades made on Wall Street. This tax could could conceivably raise up to eight hundred billion dollars, which would go a long way into funding a lot of the programs that have been cut under austerity programs and give backs to the very corporations that have caused the problem in the first place. Well, I got one, thanks. I'll try to put it somewhere here. There we go. Got a little side of the old chair. Sorry about that. Just uh, thought I had my breakfast. Hey, 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 hey. We're down here with the California Nurses Association, with J.P. Morgan and Company here at 560 Mission. Asking for a Robin Hood tax, and you can get more information at the Robin Hood tax at robinhoodtax.org. That's if you want to find out more information.
I'm sure Chase would be happy to pay a half a percent tax on some of that two billion dollars that they lost last quarter. The people won't give up. Hey Chase, heads up. The people won't give up. Hey Chase, heads up. The people won't give up. They're in a live stream right now. We say fight back. Oh, no, I'm fine. We say fight back. We say fight back. We have the power. We have the power. We have the power. So it looks like you're going to be on local news tonight. I believe that's Channel 2. Yeah, it is. Channel 2. I forgot his name. That's okay. It's a live stream. I want to Got a good crowd of nurses here. I'd estimate about it. Uh, about 100. All right. Love their enthusiasm. Uh, the CNA is on strike right at the moment. So uh, they got five days off uh, where they couldn't come back to work. So I guess this is part of what they had planned. All right, the nurses are locked out of their work right now. And uh, they're on strike as well, I do believe. Give you a little better shot here. Well, I love live streaming. It's the only way I could do this. Just making videos. <laughs> live streams the only way.
reputation of dancing in the streets because Wall Street. Uh, great singing. Oh, I live on 6th and Milton Market. So not too far. That's a few blocks up. Dottie's move. Yeah, I know there's a line out there every day. Yeah. Hey, Jake! Heads up! Those guys just walk him up! So what's the 6th and Market? Are you going to the market today? No, I live with the Seneca. Heads up! I just left here, Mom. Hey, Jake! Heads up! I'm not going to go to the market, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I'm one of the organizers for the building. Do you know Ed Evans is in the, uh, like, Kirk and Jones? No. Ed Evans? Okay. 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 I know Randy Shaw, and he's the one that got me. He's the one that uh, informed me about that. Place. Oh, he goes way back. Does he look any older? No, not too much. Hey, oh, Chase! What's your name? My name's Clark. Clark, I'm Lotus. Nice to meet you. I'm sure I'll see you around. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're live streaming uh, Preoccupy San Francisco. Excellent. You go to the Sunday meeting at 8 o'clock? Uh, I haven't been making the last few, yeah. but um, I'm, I'm hooked into it. I do the website. Oh, excellent, so, Clark. I'm the tech guy. Oh, so I can track you down at Seneca? Yeah, the Seneca Hotel. Or just, um, uh, yeah, give me your email because I actually send things to Occupy SF. Uh, yeah. uh, Freeman Sullivan. Freeman Sullivan? Yeah, Freeman Sullivan. That's U L L I D A N. That's Facebook or anything. My Twitter handle is Freeman Sullivan. Right? Uh, my email is at Gmail. Freeman Sullivan. Is your name Freeman? Uh, no, no, it's just a name's Clark. Clark, yeah. <laughs> I used to work. Where did you used to work? I used to work at a place called Freeman Sullivan. Oh, I remember now. Yeah. Years ago. Did you know Caldwell? No. They made the Oppie cards. Oh, yeah? Jane and Will. Talent. Yeah, I know Jane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
So now that everybody's dressed up. Looking good. We've got Dave down here. I see your sign. Yeah, there we go. They got a hat here if you want one. Somewhere. Somewhere. Well, somebody was passing them out. You working today? Yeah, looks like you're working. Got my green pants and a bunch of other shit. Yeah, I can see. It looks like we, we got a representative. There's a few occupied people that are down here. There's a few occupied people that are down here that, that I saw. And these are the reasons the nurses are on the street asking for the lava to attack. You always get some guys standing in front of you. Taking care of homeless men, women, children. We're seeing malnourished babies in the richest country in the Indian state. I can tell you a lot more stories, but I won't be down. I think it's just the disconnect between the guys that are sitting on the top floor. We pay a little more attention here to the stream. Here we go. CIO, we all recognize, all of us as workers recognize that this financial crisis we're in has been put together because of the J.P. Morgans and the Goldman Sachs that have been using the money of the United States and have been using it as though they're in a casino. They're out there gambling and speculating. They're not putting it into jobs. They're not putting it into education. They're not putting it into safety net. They're out there speculating with it, and they're hoarding it, and it's not being used for the men and women who actually make this country work. So I think it's time right now that we say we want a part of that money to make sure that this country can get back to the values and the service that it used to be at. So the Robin Hood tax is one way to get there. I want to applaud the nurses and the rest of everybody who's going to be jumping on board to make sure that Wall Street pays its fair share for the mess that they put us in, and it's time to get this money back. Thank you very much. symbol you've taken in the 1700s and the, the centuries around there uh, a lot of us used to live off the land grow our food hunt gather and the, the aristocracy started to enclose it so that it was their land and put up fences and kill or arrest people so there was widespread rebellions and that that uh, enclosure never stopped they're still taking the things we need aren't they Yes. So then it was the land, now it's our schools. What else are they taking from us? Our health care. And are we going to take it back? Yes. So what we're not actually doing is, is uh, we're not taxing them, we're repossessing what they've concentrated. And, and they've found a lot of clever ways using politicians, CEOs, to continue. But basically, we're still the serfs. And they're still the monarchs, the rulers, the aristocracy. And it's time to turn that world upside down, knock the politicians out of the way, get rid of the most undemocratic form of organization ever created in human history called the corporation. Imagine a few small, rich aristocrats running things. So 
A lot of us have occupied a little bit of public space. I'm hoping we can occupy, for starters, that little sliver of the gambling tax. And then eventually we need to occupy our whole communities, the whole world, for all of us, the next generation. Okay, our next speaker that will wrap it up for us is a registered nurse. Her name is Rochelle Pardue. She's a nurse at Sutter Summit Alta Bates. Come on up. Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome. And um, I'd just like to ask all of you, you're all dressed like Robin Hood. How'd you get here? Does anybody know? Carpool. That's a good question. Carpool, that's a good answer. So I was thinking about how did I end up here today? How did I end up as a nurse standing around in downtown San Francisco with a Robin Hood hat on my hat? It just hat on my head. It, it just seems kind of strange. And people are like, why are these nurses out here dressed up like Robin Hood? And I can tell you that it comes from the fundamental belief that everyone deserves health care. Yeah. And it's kind of a long story, but I want to sum it up for you the way I see it. Now, nurses have been working on this concept called Medicare for All. Yeah. For years. For years we've been working on Medicare for All. In fact, Sheila Kuhl passed twice. Not once, but twice in the legislature. Universal health care, single payer health care in the state of California. And then you might ask, well, why don't we have single payer in California? And that's because Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> not once, but twice. The last time he vetoed it was in 2008. What else happened in 2008? Barack Obama got elected. Well, Barack Obama got elected. That was probably a better thing that happened in 2008. But that's when we consider the economic crisis, you know, started off, and it's just been snowballing downhill ever since. And so the nurses have seen how this economic crisis has affected people, and then it started. We started to see that not only. Is this affecting people's health care, like just the people that we see walking into the hospital? But we see how jobs affects your health care. If you don't have a job, you don't have health care. If you don't have decent pay, you can't get your medicine, like she was just talking about. You know, jobs affect health care. We need uh, public education. How educated you are in this life, in this world. Yeah. That affects your chances on how you will do in life. You need a secure retirement. If you can't retire with security, then you can't stay healthy. If you have to choose between your medication and paying rent when you're an elderly person, you don't have a secure retirement. We need our children and everyone else to be able to breathe good air and drink good water. We need a healthy environment. Right. All of these things. So we called for a Main Street contract to address all of these issues. That people need all of these things because all of these things affect your health. And that's why the nurses believe in it. That's why the nurses are behind this because we believe not only in Medicare for all, but for a Main Street contract that will address all of these issues. All right. Yeah. Well, you guys have mighty high ideas, but I don't know. That, how are you going to do that? Those are nice ideas. You need to lower your expectations. <laughs> and the nurse talking to that politician said, next time you're getting prepped for surgery, I'm going to say, you need to lower your expectations. <laughs> how would you like that? world that we never lower our expectations. Yeah. When it comes to our children, our communities, our patients, our families, and our America, we will never lower our expectations. Yeah. So here we are, standing in the street, 
Europe and 40 countries around the world, and it's time to have this tax in, in America. <laughs> so President Obama and the rest of the politicians, you better listen up, because the time has come for the Robin Hood tax, 50 little cents on every hundred dollars, to be taxed on Wall Street to raise money for all of the things that I mentioned before in the Main Street contract, Medicare for all, and a healthy America. All right, so now I'm going to say, heal America, I want you to say, tax Wall Street. Heal America! Down here at 560 Mission Street at JP Morgan Chase and Company, as you'll say. We're out here uh, asking for Robin Hood tax at 0.5% on every dollar period. So that's, that's what happens on your sales tax. But we want to apply to any trades that are made on Wall Street. That's why we're out here today.
We're gonna do another flash. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Special treat here. They always like the flash mob. I do believe that's a live stream here from 560 Mission Street. We want you guys to just like come back and love it. We want you to face the face and the water and the sculpture with your signs up. Show us real life. Over here at 560 Mission Street at J.P. Morgan Street. There's the building right there where all the decisions are being made to lose your money. They lost $2.2 billion last quarter. Let's give them a big hand. Uh, recently, their, CP, uh, their CEO uh, basically uh, got his ass kissed by Congress the other day when he went and testified about why he lost money. And it's a continuation of the same ass kissing that American politicians do to the Wall Street criminals and the banksters which steal from our society every day at the casino known as Wall Street. So this is Clark Sullivan 
And I'm going to be signing off to your live stream here. Thanks for watching, and look for me soon. Occupy will never die.